going to miss it. Good thing you're up. Uh, only 800 left in that Capri Blue. So great, great value. Love the lock and lock. <laughs> I, nothing, not as much as I love a brownie yeah. or some pie. Some whoopie pie. And if we're talking about portion control or talking about just pleasing fussy eaters in your family who all like something different, here's what you need. We call it a pie and cake pan from Cook's Essentials, but really it's just this non-stick kind of pastry mini serving helper that's going to help you do a whole lot just in mini size. So you're going to get what we call the pie and cake maker itself with two pastry cup cutters at a clearance price of $26.46. Not only have we cut the price by $12, we're going to give you free shipping and handling for a total savings of $20. You look like you're making mini omelets. We are, we're doing little frittatas in here. And what's great about this is, it's think of it as a, a station for making mini pies, mini savories, mm. uh, breakfast items in the morning. It really is multi-purpose in that regard. And you know, think about the different ingredients we can use. We can actually set up a mini you know, frittata bar like this and people can just really you know, go to town, make their own and decide you know, which ingredients they like. We could add ham to that, mm -hmm. we could add bacon, and in about seven minutes, those frittatas will be done. You know that it's working because you've got the that blue light, light going. <laughs> Good thing we have that light to let us know it's That's on. That's right. Well, uh, what is Cook's Essentials? Cook's Essentials is our uh, professional cookware and uh, quality electronics, kitchen electronics uh, label here at QVC. And uh, it's the brand that uh, I represent and my boss, uh, Meredith Lawrence, represents, the Blue Jean Chef. So you use a lot of this. You yes, know it's do. quality. You demand it in your own kitchen, and That's so right. many of us do as well. What makes this different than, say, a regular panini press or something that you just um, or a waffle maker where you kind of just have a lid go over top. Right, so this has a special feature in that it crimps. So I'll show you on the next um, uh, the next pies that we uh, we put together here. I'll show you how we do that. So these are pecan pies that I'm just pulling out, Stacy. Mm -hmm. And so let me Smell show that. you the special feature here. Now this pie um, got a little bit overdone, but don't worry about that because this is a great nonstick surface and this will just wipe out with uh, a wet towel so you don't need to worry about that all of that will clean up very very easily mm -hmm. so let me show you over here with these pies now oh. these are little apple pies that we did okay so let me just show you how we make them so i'm going to pop this one out put it mm -hmm. over there sorry That's okay. and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab we have uh the pastry back here so this is store-bought pastry great and what we do is we give you two oh, rings yeah. right okay so you cut them out from the store-bought pastry. So these are your pastry cutters that I was exactly. talking about and the two sizes that you'll And get. what you do is you place the pie dough in the bottom. Now, this is splitting a little bit because uh, the pie dough was a little bit too cold coming out of the kitchen, okay. but that's all right. And then what we do is we put our apple filling in here, mm -hmm. just enough, and then this is the top. The smaller one goes on top. Okay. And when I pull this down, the lid down, you see this on I the top here? That's that. the crimping feature. Okay. So that actually seals it. And then I snap it down and it seals the pie. And I can go back later and check, but you see right there that it very effectively crimps the top of the pie crust right there for us. So that's a really wonderful feature. I love that. That's fabulous because sometimes just putting a top on a pie and trying to get that really perfect crease of the two pieces together is one of the harder parts Absolutely. and more kind of tedious. This does the work for you. It and I does. love your idea about setting up a bar, making this more of an entertainment uh, piece too as well. You know, having, if you have the grandkids over in the morning, they all right. like something different with their eggs, they can fill up their own little, little spot with what they want. Or if you have somebody who loves cherry pie, somebody else likes blueberry, blueberry. somebody likes peach, and the other one likes apple, you can make all four in one shot. Right, just like that. And again, because the crimping feature is built in and it's a great non-stick, these are cast aluminum plates with non-stick, so they heat very evenly. And in seven to eight minutes, the pie is fully cooked and browned, and it comes out something like that. Okay, so we plug it in, Yes. turn it on, how long do we have to wait for it to heat up? You know, it starts to heat immediately. Okay. So within a minute, it's hot enough, and you'll see uh, the blue light is on, and that's telling you that that's heating very evenly and controlling that. Now, this is uh, a meat pie. It's a little warm, and what I want to do is I'm going to break one open on the front. I just want to show you how 
warm and hot and savory those are. So this is this is the meat filling. It's like a shepherd's oh. pie filling that we did. Yeah. And uh, you know, I just love that idea, along with the idea of the frittata. These little meat pies, these savory pies, are a great idea. And you can do all sorts of different Sheesh. fillings, from mm. lamb to chicken, do little chicken pot pies, right? Chicken pot pies are one of my favorites. Especially this time of yes, year. It got really cold. Year, it was 13 exactly. degrees here in Westchester as I drove in uh, to work overnight. Yes, so yeah. chicken pot pie sounds really good to me and right again, now. It's so easy. You just press it down in. This is the bottom portion, right? And you take your meat filling okay. and you put that in and then you take your top section, put that right on, Perfect. and again, it crimps right down. So lock the minute it. I lock okay. it, you'll see it crimps it immediately and seals that. So in pie. a matter of about 10 minutes, depending on what we're cooking, we can have... Yeah, about seven to eight minutes, in fact. Really? Because it, yeah, it heats very evenly and very, very efficiently. So you don't even have to wait as long as 10 minutes. In fact, when we go back, probably those frittatas um, are going to be close to done because eggs cook pretty uh, quickly in here. But again, don't worry if, uh, you know, it breaks open or anything like that. It's a perfect non-stick. It's going to clean up so easily. These are little blueberry pies mm, that we were working. I know, aren't they Fresh. wonderful? Oh, I love Those it. Those are fabulous, and we'll go back so and I check that. So I don't that. need to spray it with anything. What no. if I wanted to? Some people just, it's, it's yeah. a mental thing where they feel like they gotta take the non-stick spray. Would it ruin it if I did? Uh, I, I wouldn't could? use, yeah, I wouldn't use a non-stick spray okay. on this. I think it's really superfluous because the non-stick on this is really brilliant. Okay. So a lot of these recipes are going to have enough fat in them anyway. Like the pie crust itself is going to have enough uh, fat that's already in there that you're not going to need to worry about Good uh, to know. a non-stick. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, Look at that. Those okay, frittatas. Bubbled up. Yeah, mm. they bubbled up very quickly and they're ready. So that is a wonderful thing. No burn spots. No. And that even was about browning five and cooking. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, they're just Love beautiful. It. Nice and savory and warm. This is a, a quick breakfast treat. It's going to 